Hey y'all, it's Brittany and welcome back. Today we are going to be talking about another comparison of fragrances and this is one of my favorite, favorite fall fragrances and that fragrance is By the Fireplace by Replica and I love this fragrance so much and I know other people love it too, but as always, it is very expensive. It's $135 a bottle. So I'm always on the hunt to give y'all new dupes, good dupes, or good fragrances that are inspired by these branded fragrances. So today we're actually going to be comparing Replicas by the Fireplace with Dossier's Woody Chestnut. So if you wanna hear all about the Woody Chestnut and by the Fireplace, then make sure you stay tuned. All right, you guys. So first off, I'm always gonna thank y'all for coming back again and again and again. For those of you who have subscribed to my channel, thank you, thank you. And for those of you who have not yet subscribed, but are kind of sitting around trying to decide, what are you waiting for? I have everything that you need. I have fragrances, I have dupes, I have hair. I have true crime, a lot of true crime. So make sure you subscribe, make sure you hit that notification bell so that you get notified when I post new content as well. And make sure you like the video and comment Engagement is the number one driver for growth on my channel, so I would greatly appreciate it. But let's get into this comparison video. So for those of you who are not familiar with Dossier as a brand, this is a brand that actually takes name brand fragrances like Replicas by the Fireplace, and they create inspired by fragrances that can sometimes be considered a dupe for the branded fragrance, but other times it's just a great build upon the original fragrance that they are being inspired by per se. So this week we're talking about By the Fireplace. So I'll give you all the goodies, all the information that you need to know about the actual fragrance By the Fireplace by Replica. And I'm also going to be Comparing that to Dossier's Woody Chestnut, which is their fragrance that's inspired by By the Fireplace. So let's hop into the basic information and then we'll talk about the actual experience, the scent, and then I'll give you my thoughts on the comparison of the two and if Dossier is worth investing in or if you should probably stick with the branded fragrance. All right, so first we're gonna hop into the By the Fireplace fragrance. This is my By the Fireplace little guy. I always like to buy smaller versions of fragrances for the first time so that I can experience them, decide if they work well with my body chemistry or not because that matters. And then I'll progress on to buying a full size fragrance. This was one of the five fragrances that came in my discovery set from Replica. And I have not used very much of it yet because I like this fragrance for fall, winter, the cooler months. So I've worn it some, mostly inside, uh, but it's warm and I bought it when it was warm. So I am gonna be all up in this bottle, you better believe, once it starts getting chilly here, which it has just started to get chilly. So. I am very excited to be able to rock this fragrance. I absolutely love it. It gives me all the feels as soon as I smell it, but let's not hop into that yet. Let's talk about the notes and the basics of this fragrance. So as I stated before, a full size bottle, which is 3.5 ounces, I believe 3.4, 3.5 is $135. So it's a very pricey investment. The one ounce of this fragrance is $72. So less expensive, but still expensive for the amount of fragrance that you get. So we need to know if it's worth those coins. Is it worth coming out your bag to pay for a full size bottle of By the Fireplace? This is an eau de toilette. And I always like to break this down for everyone who's just watching these videos for the first time. But an eau de toilette is kind of the lowest tier of fragrance that you're gonna get in terms of concentration of fragrance oils. So there's the Eau de Toilette, 
there is the eau de parfum and then the actual parfum. And the parfum or the oil is going to be the highest concentration, obviously, if you have an oil that's 100% fragrance oil. But the parfum is going to be your highest sprayable, wearable fragrance that you can buy in most stores. And the Eau de Toilette usually has the least concentration, usually somewhere around 10% or so, a little over 10%, give or take, of the fragrance oil. So this is an Eau de Toilette that you're paying $135 for. So that's just number one. We'll want to know how long that actually lasts. In terms of the notes that create this fragrance, the top notes are cloves, pink pepper, and orange blossom. The middle notes are chestnut, guaiac wood, and juniper. And the base notes are vanilla, Peru balsam, and cashmere. So these are a bunch of very unique fragrance notes that I have not seen in any of the other fragrances that I tend to purchase, whether it be a cooler month, fall, winter fragrances, or it be a summer fragrance. I don't come across many of these notes very often. So this fragrance to me is truly unique. The fragrance family that this falls within is the warm and spicy. And the scent type is Warm and Sweet Gourmand. You know I love a gourmand. And the fragrance is supposed to kind of recreate this feeling of being by a warm, crackling fireplace. So we shall see if it actually does that. Now this is Dossier's Woody Chestnut. And this is their fragrance that's inspired by the By the Fireplace. Now with Dossier, most of their concentrations are... 18%. So that is around a Eau de Parfum concentration. So you should expect some longevity here with this type of fragrance from Dossier. They always send this little information card that gives you note information, what it's inspired by in the concentration, as well as some information on how to return things. There's always free returns with Dossier, whether you've sprayed the fragrance or not. So let's talk about the actual notes of this fragrance versus the original. So our top notes are pink pepper, orange blossom, and cloves. So exact same top notes as by the fireplace. Middle notes are chestnut, guaiac wood, and cade wood. So a little bit of a switch there with the cade wood versus the juniper in the middle notes. And then the Base notes are vanilla, peru balsam, and cedar wood. Again, a little bit of a switch with that last note in the base notes, whereas the original by the fireplace has cashmere instead of the cedar wood as a base note. So a lot of similarities in terms of the notes and how they're layered and a few switch ups. So we'll test this out to see how well it compares to the original, does it give us a similar feel, a similar experience? Do we get the same longevity? We'll hop into all of that now. So the first thing that I'm gonna do is I'm gonna spray the dossier version of By the Fireplace, and I'll spray that on the inner part of my wrist here, and we'll let that set on down, and I'll apply By the Fireplace original on this arm. Now, as these both dry down, I love to see a sheen where I've sprayed the fragrance because it tells me that there's perfume oil in there somewhere, a good enough amount that it shows on my skin. But that is also a good reason to remind yourself, you don't really want to spray those higher concentrations, the more expensive fragrances, your eau de parfums and your parfums. You don't want to spray those directly on your clothes because they do have a higher concentration of those oils and it will stain, boo. So be mindful of that. But yeah, you could see that there's a sheen. There's more sheen on this hand, which is the dossier, which of course, like I said, that has a higher concentration um, of more so an eau de parfum versus the Mason Margiela, which has some sheen, but it is definitely much more of a lighter sheen because it is an eau de toilette. So let's talk about the initial experience, the initial scent of each of these fragrances. So I'll start with the original. Instantly, I'm getting smoky, I'm getting woody, I'm getting that smoky burning wood smell that you would get from a fireplace instantly. 
I get the sweetness as well. So I'm getting the vanilla, pretty good. And I'm also getting the cloves and the pink pepper. I'm getting that spice level. A little tiny bit, tiny, tiny bit of floral. And that may be again coming from that orange blossom. But most of what I'm getting is that smoky, that mysterious smoky scent. I love it. It gives me all the feels. It gives me like chills when I smell this fragrance. It is the epitome of a fall fragrance. It really just makes me want to put a thick, chunky sweater on, some nice thick cable leggings and some footies and spray this all over me and just wrap up in a blanket and watch TV all day long. That's what it gives me. And now let's talk about initial scent of the dossier version. Okay, so I'm getting some smokiness, but it's more so of a hint of smokiness initially. I'm getting much more of the sweetness, the vanilla kind of more forward, a little more floral kind of more forward as well. It's definitely spicy, but I'm getting more so of the pink pepper than the cloves in terms of spice. But it smells, it smells similar. It's just not as woody. It's not as smoky on the initial scent. So I'm going to give it a few more minutes and then we'll talk about kind of that secondary smell, that secondary scent. All right, so some more time has passed and I've let it kind of dry down a bit more. So I'm going to go back in and smell the original first and see kind of what I'm picking up. And then I'll do the same thing for the Dossier Woody Chestnut and see if they're kind of lining up a bit more now that they've both settled down on my skin or if I'm still noticing kind of some, some outlying differences. I'm still getting smoky, woody, but sweet and like a sensual scent from this by the fireplace. I, I can't stop smelling it. It smells so good, but it's still smoky, but it's sweet at the same time. It's woody, but it's, it's sensual at the same time. That's the best way that I can explain this fragrance. With the Dossier version, it's starting to smell much closer to the by the fireplace, but I feel like Dossier sometimes, whenever there's pink pepper in the fragrance that they're using as an inspiration, I feel like I go a little heavy on the pink pepper because I'm still picking up that pink pepper and I've experienced this with some of their other fragrances as well. But I do think that it's really close to the original. It's a little bit more smoky now that it's settled and by the fireplace is a little bit less smoky. It's kind of even out, but I'm getting a lot more spicy, spicy and vanilla as well is coming through a bit more here. With the Mesa Margiela, it's, it smells a little bit more balanced and blended of a fragrance, whereas we're getting much more of the spicy notes kind of coming forward in the Dossier version. And I think because of that, I don't get the same feels of being by a, fire by a fireplace. I feel like with the By the Fireplace, I'm getting more of that woody, that smoky, that sensual, but sweet scent. Whereas with the Dossier, I'm getting some of those notes, but I'm getting a whole lot of spice thrown at me at the same time. So it stops me from getting that same experience of being by a fireplace. All right, so now that we've done the sniff test, let's talk about my three most important things that I always look for with these fragrance comparisons. A, is it a good fragrance? Is it a good comparison to the original fragrance? And then B, is it a long wearing fragrance? Does it have longevity? Does it have silage? And then finally, is it worth the price? So first in terms of the comparison of the two fragrances, if I like one more, if they just smell the same to me, it's it's so close. It's seriously very close, but I'm not as big of a fan as a lot of pink pepper as I'm getting from the dossier. So I'm gonna have to still give it to the by the fireplace. It still does something to me, those scents, those scents combined together just give you all the feels. If you've smelled this before, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I would say they're very close. It is a very good dupe. It's just a little bit too much pepper in there for me. In terms of longevity and silage, I feel like Dossier is probably gonna wear a bit longer in all honesty, but that is because they're just simply two different tiers of fragrances. Again, that 
by the fireplace by replica is an eau de toilette. So it has a lower concentration than the actual dossier fragrance itself. So you're going to get less wear out of the replica version. So this is going to be much more for you to experience it as you're wearing it and not so much for you to announce yourself when you're walking in a room. This is not something that's going to project very much across a room. Maybe if someone's standing very close to you or, you know, your loved one is up close and personal with you, they will pick up the scent. But outside of that, it's not going to be a super projecting fragrance at all. And for the dossier, quite honestly, it's the same thing. It's just not a projecting fragrance. I feel like the notes that are included in both of these fragrances. So you're not going to get a whole lot of sillage. You're not going to get a whole lot of wafting of the fragrances with either one of these. So this is definitely something just more for you and the experience as you wear it. And then finally, in terms of price point. So the original by the fireplace is going to cost you $72 for one ounce and $135 for the 3.4 ounce. The dossier version is going to cost you $29 for the 1.7 ounce bottle. Is it worth it? Is the original worth it? If you wear fragrances for the experience, and I'm one of those people that do, I'm not always looking for a fragrance that's going to be all up in everybody else's faces. And I just want to smell good. And maybe the person that's waiting on me at a table can smell me. And nobody beyond that needs to smell me for that moment. And I'm wearing a fragrance just for me. Then I would say it's worth it. I would say I'm probably going to be leaning towards the one ounce bottle. I love this fragrance and the experience that it gives me when I wear it. But it's not something that I'm going to be wearing every day as an everyday fragrance. It's I can't see myself wanting to smell smoky and wanting to smell like a fireplace everywhere that I go all day, every day. So it's definitely a mood fragrance. I would consider it to be. And I would say the one ounce bottle is probably worth it. And you'd probably get a long shelf life out of that as well. If you're not looking for something that is just for you to experience and you want to have the fragrance or something very close to it, but not pay all that money for something that's not going to last very long on your skin and is not going to project very far, then I would say dossier is definitely a good option for you because you're going to get the same or similar wear. You might get a little bit longer of a wear actually because the concentration is a bit higher in the dossier woody chestnut. So if you want a little bit longer wear, Again, you're not going to get a whole much projection, but you get a similar experience and you are a lover of a spicy fragrance, then I would definitely say go ahead and pick up that Woody Chestnut Sis. I feel like this fragrance really works for, you know, certain moods. And this, I feel like, is a unisex fragrance. I believe the the By the Fireplace is also, I consider it a unisex fragrance, so it's for both men and women. So if you're looking for a similar experience but not wanting to pay that much money for something that's not going to necessarily last forever, then I would definitely recommend the Woody Chestnut. I feel like it's a very close dupe to the fragrance. So if you're a fan of the Warm and Spicy, pick it up. All right, you guys. So that is everything on the By the Fireplace Fragrance by Replica, as well as the dossier inspired by fragrance Woody Chestnut. So I hope that y'all learned something today about fragrances. I also hope that I helped you make some type of decision on whether or not to pick up this lovely fall fragrance. But other than that, it's been fun. It's been real. So until next time, love you guys. Bye.